It's Jeff. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, I kind of lost track of time this week. I was thinking it's all it's been about three or four days since I put out a video. And I got to look at it and it's been eight. This is, oh, so I've, I've been busy working in the yard. It's been crazy weather here. Uh, last Thursday it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit and I was out mowing the grass. Saturday we got six inches of snow. And it's been raining ever since. Oh, crazy, crazy week. Anyway, uh, this is uh, part four of the Austin Armored Car 1918 pattern in Japanese service. 135th scale, 39019 is the kit number. Um, I've got some more parts all cleaned up and ready to go. In the last episode, we got the engine in. I haven't attached these little photo etch parts to the bottom yet. There's two here and one here and a little light. I don't want to put those on until I get the axles on because I think they would just get snapped off. Uh, Mini Art wants you to start attaching some real fine parts to the top of the frame, which will be sticking up, and the radiator, and then they want you to turn it upside down and put the springs and the muffler and the bumper and so forth on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the the uh, axles together. I've got these parts all ready to go in uh, 17. So we'll put the axles together, the rear and front, and uh, then when we put the springs on, we'll be able to get our spacing just right. I don't like to put the springs on and just you know glue them and then go off and leave them because if the springs are not in the exact right position then the next part won't fit. So let's go ahead and get these axles together. Um, one thing I was going to show you too, I've been studying these instructions considerably. Uh, in part 15 they're saying that we can replace uh, these parts, these plastic parts, with wire. They recommend a 0.3 mil. Now the parts are here. If you can see them. We've got one, two, three, four of them. Got lots of little bitty connection points. Okay, it's going to be a lot easier to just do those in wire. Um, I don't have any 0.3 wire, but I do have some 0.5. I measured out the actual parts on the kit, and they're 0 0.6, so this should work just fine. It is steel. It's not brass. I wasn't able to get any brass that size. So I'll have to cut these probably with a cutoff wheel on my Dremel or some, some heavy snips or something, but it should all work out just fine. A lot better than cleaning up all those uh, connection points. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, one thing I was going to say, too... I measured the length of the actual parts. Mini Art says to cut DA25 at 44 millimeters, but the actual parts only 40.3. DA28, they say to cut 44, but it's only 43.1. And DA27, it says cut 35, but it's only 33.9. DA26 says cut to 40, but it's actually 39.1. So I'm probably going to hand fit each of those pieces to make sure they fit right. So uh, that'll be a little bit of a project there to get that all just correct. Anyway, um, I started kind of cleaning up and fitting some of the body parts. This is just all taped together, but uh, it fits really well. It's very intricate. It'll probably fall apart on me here. But I've, I've cleaned up a number of the uh, body parts here, and I've just been fitting them to make sure everything fits correctly. And it does, it fits very well. So that'll be a little little later on. So here's where we're, where we're at right now. And I've got the parts for the rear axle right here. So let me put this in a box for now so it doesn't get damaged. 
and we'll get going on step 17. First thing we do is B25 and B26 will need to be put together. I've cleaned them up, but I haven't tried them. And they are keyed. Let me get rid of these glasses here. I see much better up close without my glasses. And uh, that doesn't really fit all that well. These are really big seam. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's uh, see if we can do anything to improve that. Hmm. Might have to do a little filling on that. Yeah, I'm not, not real happy with that at all. Well, we'll go ahead and put it together. But, um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't fit very well. Let me get a, uh, a uh, pen, something to clamp it with. And we'll glue that and just let it sit for a little while while we work on something else. Just a second. Okay. Put that on there. Put the regular extra thin on it. Lose the glasses again. The seam improved a little bit when I uh, put the glue on it. It may have been the pins were just a little tight or something. I think just a little sand and that'll probably be okay. Can't really see too much of the seam. But we'll get it put together and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me put a clamp, clamp on this for just a little bit. Okay, we'll just give that a few minutes. While that's setting up, we have B17. We have the two axle hubs, uh, CK17. There's two of those. Those are identical. Those are all cleaned up. Then we have two brake drums. Um, B38 and B39. Now these are different. They're handed, so you got to make sure you put them on the correct side. And this is the uh, DA38, which is the front of the uh, differential where the drive shaft goes in. And then we have two two um, little brake linkages, DA3 and DA4. So those are handed. So we've got to make sure that those are put on correctly. Let's see here. I think that's set up pretty good. That seam pretty much went away. I may do a little filling on it. We'll see how it looks. But uh, I try and keep things oriented the same direction as the drawing. So we'll put on um, one of the axles. They, these are both identical and they are keyed. So like so. so, let's put just a little bit of glue on the inside there. Give it just a second. OK. 
Okay, and the other one. Okay, that looks pretty good. I always try and look across them, make sure everything looks nice and straight. Okay, so that's the first part that we need to put um, the brake drums on. Uh, B38 will go on this side, and there's a hole right here that goes toward the front and these also have uh, these are also keyed and we'll go just like so and to tell you the truth it doesn't look to me like they're quite sitting on there all the way I'm going to sand off or file off just a tiniest little bit there. Let's see here. better much better okay let's go ahead and glue that on Great. And this is B39. It's also handed. So we'll go always test fit. It'll go this direction. And it's also just a little bit. That's where the connection connecting point was, was on the end of the axle. And I got a feeling maybe I didn't quite take all the connecting point off. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's get it glued on. Okay, I did notice on the face here, this is kind of a little bit uneven. Let's go ahead and clean that up where the joint is. That looks good. Okay. There's that. And then we have... DA38, it'll go on the front. That'll go right where I put the, uh, where I was just filing a second ago. That looks good. Okay, then we have DA4 and DA3, this is DA3, so it will go on 
this side. Okay, just like so. So it'll go in the little hole and then glue to the to the axle. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's where I get it down here just a little bit. There we go. This is some of the connecting points that the rods go through for the axles and things. So gotta gotta make sure that I measure all that stuff right to where it all fits when I put those uh, those rods in. This is a uh, DA4. This is for the other side. Just checking. Okay, that all looks good. Little tiny bit of glue. Like the neighbors leaving. Okay. And we have one more piece, and that is this truss B. 17 and it goes there's a little um, I'm not even sure what you call it it's a place where it could be tightened on the one side and it'll go the way this is faced it'll go to the right side so these will actually set in these little notches here Okay, not quite wanting to cooperate. Hmm. It's like the notch is just a little bit narrow. Yeah, that notch is just a tiny bit narrow. Um, can't take much. That one loose. Glue it back on. Quick, quick setting on that one. There we go, got that back where it goes. 
this goes right here. I think if I put some glue on it, they'll slip in just fine. Okay, let's put a little of the regular on there. tiniest little bit. Okay. There's our axle all finished up. That's the back. Now let's do the front. We've got DA12, DA11, DA7, B4, and B14. Here's the axle, and I don't see any particular direction, whether it goes this way or this way. It looks to be uh, the same. So I'm going to Let's see, they want you to do it upside down to begin with. So we'll do DA11. It's kind of in the full of the instructions there. And it will go So, well, that's interesting. The um, apparently the tie rod goes in the same slot. Okay. I see. Let's put a little glue. I'll have to really be sure to make sure all this is straight. And DB12 on the other side. Like so. See these are, maybe you can see, these are different. This one's got a quite a large piece and this side does not. So we're going to put uh, the tie rod on next, that's B14. And it has to go on a specific way. 
So the rounded end goes to this size. That's very interesting. I think I'm going to use... Eh, maybe I'll use this. Uh, I don't know. Might be in its own way. Let's give it a try. Okay. Yeah, that is in the way a little bit. Well, this one will go here. Easiest to hold up this way. Wow, that big truck going by. There we go. That's how that goes. Let's put some quick setting on that. Mm, it looks nice and straight. If I'd have been thinking, I probably would have made up the, the tires. That way I could put them on and give a bigger surface to, to look across. It. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, we got one more piece. They want you to turn this the other way around. And it is DA7. And it will go let's see here. This does not look hmm. Ah, I see. This should go to this side. Okay. Just uh, the way the drawings were made. I'll see if I can get this apart. Okay. That wasn't too bad. So it goes flip the other way. I'm glad I caught that. And this goes this direction. Okay, that makes more sense. And this should go to this side. Okay, guys, 
I am going to break for a minute here and let this glue set up and then we'll see about getting the springs on. Be right back guys. Thanks. Okay guys, it's been 30, 40 minutes since we put those axles together. Things should be firmed up pretty good now. Now what I'm going to do is go back to uh, step 13. Well, actually step uh, 12. We're going to put the, uh, I believe it would be an emergency brake. We'll put that in and then we'll put the muffler together and the springs on and then we can set the axles on and have all that stuff lined up really well okay so here here's our uh, brake we've got oops that's another part that needs to go on that's b67 that will do once we flip things over so i'll set that aside this is um, B2, B3, and B21. So all three of these will go together and uh, make up the make up the break. The way I see it here, and it's all keyed. Gotta lose these glasses again. Everything's keyed together, so it'll be, let's see here, Just like so. Basically, it's just stacking the pieces. Nothing much to it, but what I'm going to do is use my my little white tack to hold things. So this will be first. This is uh, B21. And we'll put a little on there. And this. Okay, and this is B, is it B2? I guess B2. And it'll go on like so. That makes up our break. Okay, so we'll glue that. Okay. That's good. This will be the uh, place where our drive shaft will locate. So I'm just curious, real quick, that the uh, drive shaft fits okay. It looks like it is keyed. Yeah, that fits real good in there. Okay. We'll give that just a couple of minutes. Uh, in the meantime, get our frame out and uh, since I've got all these little parts sticking up here I'm gonna grab a little bit of foam here just a little something that has a little bit of cushion and set this stuff on okay and we'll start working on the springs this will be, and let's let's turn this around. We'll orient it the same direction as the as the instructions. This is B fifty three, so it will go on this side. And I want to make sure. Okay, it's keyed. To the frame and keyed to the back just like so a little, 
glue here, glue here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there's the first one on. See, those sprays can move in and out. Fact is, it looks like it's tipped out pretty good right now. So I want to get that axle on there before everything gets firmed up to make sure my alignment's okay. This is B54, which will be the other side. Okay. That too good. Not sure. I believe this goes a little higher up here. More like that. Okay, that's better. Wasn't quite putting it in the right location. Let's do this a little bit more. Way too much glue. Okay, let's get the brake in place. So we've got to be oriented this direction. And there is a hole there. We need to get it. be a little tricky. Got to go through the frame and in the hole. Hmm. Maybe in not chose to stack all the parts first. Before putting them through, but it is rather tight. Maybe we need to go from the bottom up. Let's try that. That's better. And get that little arm in the hole. That's the place, just like that. Okay. 
Okay. And then the rear drive shaft and the rear differential. This has got some uh, little tabs that stick up on it. And they go in the little tabs at the bottom of the axle to get everything to line up good. And the springs look like they're just a little bit far apart. There we go. Okay. Let's make sure this fits. This is going to go with the big part toward the transmission. Just like so. So, okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Everything's lining up much better, just taking that little bit off of there. Okay, let's go ahead and get the front ones on. What are we doing on time here? Yeah, let's get the front ones on, and then we'll probably call this video good. So we've got a front spring. This is B51. And it will go on this side. Let's see here. If I go like this. That's interesting. A little tab sticks out on it right there. If you guys can see that or not. It doesn't look like a sprue connection. Maybe it's supposed to hold it. Time to look ahead again just a little bit. Okay, the springs are actually supposed to sit back in the frame. And they go to the inside. So we want to go to the inside like so. Just barely fits. Hmm. I say that a lot, don't I? According to our directions, that's the way they fit. They're just about flush on the outside, and then they connect to the inside. So let's go ahead and glue them in and make sure that the spacing for the spring is good for the axle.
I'm going to clean that hole out just a tiny little bit. It's going to take more than that. That's better. Okay, I'm happy with that. And let's see how the other one does. the same way. That holds just a little bit tight. That looks correct. Let's get this glued. And we'll see how our axle fits. Okay. These are all parts of the muffler. We'll probably wait until next time to get the muffler. They are in just a tiny bit, like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get some glue on these. Okay, guys, I think we've got it now. You've got to have your springs here to where they sit just 
outside of the frame rail. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Well, we're way off camera here. But uh, here's the frame rail, here's the spring, and it needs to set this way just half a millimeter, maybe not even that much. But everything lines up now. So that was pretty fiddly. Anyway, uh, we're going to call that good for, for progress, even though it wasn't really that much. But I uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me. I'm going to show you something that uh, I got here a couple weeks ago that will be coming up on the channel here real quick. Um, I'll be building this soon. This will be my first uh, TACOM tank. If you guys can even see that. Yeah. Got this as a birthday present a few weeks ago. So, uh, won't be long. Uh, we'll be taking a look in this box and... Uh, then we'll be building this on the channel too. A, uh, very interesting camouflage. I'm not sure just how I'm going to manage that, but we'll see. And I also got a little reference material. So I'll be reading this and uh, then I'll know a little bit more about uh, what I'm building. Alrighty, you guys. Have a great day. And, uh, We'll see you real soon. Okay. Bye-bye.